In business, the Nigerian government has explained that its decision to ban some international airlines from coming into the country is not politically motivated. Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika, while speaking at the bi-weekly presidential task force and COVID-19 briefing, says its decision is based on the capacity to handle a certain number of passengers to curb the import of coronavirus into the country. Airlines denied entrance into Nigeria included Air France, KLM, Etihad, Rwanda Air, Lufthansa, TAG Angola Airlines, Air Namibia and Royal Air Maroc when the country reopened its airspace to international flights on September 5. Joining us now is Wale Shadari, aviation editor, Daily Te Telegraph. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me once again. It's a pleasure always. Um, how convincing is this move by the federal government for you? Is it something that truly will help to curb the importation of the virus or for other reasons? Thank you very much. I think um, just yesterday, the federal government through the Minister of Aviation said uh, the plan to ban airlines, uh, some of the European carriers was not politically motivated, I think um, is a clear departure from what he said some few weeks ago, that um, the process of reciprocity will be applied to any country that refuses to allow Nigeria to come into their country. And um, if you look at it, the European Union carriers, Air France, KLM, uh, Lufthansa and some of them have been barred from coming into Nigeria because of the policy they um, uh, uh, churned out that Nigeria was grouped among countries that um, are not allowed to come into their countries. And you begin to wonder um, how did they arrive at that, considering the fact that um, uh, the coronavirus cases that we've had is far uh, less or lesser than what you have in even in France, um, Germany, and some other European countries, you begin to ask yourself what motivated this policy to ban Nigerians from coming into their country. And Nigeria took a real, a retaliatory move to also bar uh, those airlines from coming into Nigeria. So, a lot, some of us were shocked yesterday when the minister said it wasn't politically motivated. Aviation globally is all about politics, it's all about diplomacy. Uh, if you do this to me, I'll do this to you. Simple. It's, it's very, very... I don't know why we are buckling now when the European nations have not even considered it and necessary to allow Nigerians to come into their country. I wouldn't know what the, the level of discussion they've had, and I know that this new um, uh, uh, change of heart could have been as a result of discussions that are going uh, that are ongoing now oh, and we also need to be very careful because um do we have the capacity to manage over two thousand passengers at the same time i think the answer is no the minister may be uh, absolutely correct when he said they are planning to limit people coming into nigeria to certain number i think 1280 passengers for abuja and under 1,280 passengers for, for Lagos, because we do not have the medical equipment. We saw the mess we found ourselves with um, the PCR, the COVID test result. Uh, the first week was chaotic. I think things are improving now. So as time goes on, I think we'll begin to um, review some of these um, uh, policies. That okay, I'm taking the information uh, from the government with a pinch of salt as regarding not it not being politically motivated, what then could be the criteria to deny these international flights, which a good number of Nigerians are used to? Yeah, absolutely. It's actually taking a toll on Nigerians because you know Nigerians travel a lot and they love to travel in class. Some of these airlines are some of the best in the world that um, uh, offer good services, offer good products, uh, is actually taking a toll because um, a lot of people that were booked on those flights are not able to um, uh, travel. Or what the airlines are doing is to ensure that they endorse people on other aircraft like British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, Delta, Emirates, because they have an alliance, they have strong alliances, they have strong partnership 
so they, they they don't feel it so much but nigerians are feeling it more because f effort is have gone as high as over 200 percent you can imagine um uh fares what we had before maybe from here to london for uh, 300 400 for the ton is over 800,000 naira now what are they going to pay who is going to pay this nigerians are going to pay so you have limited the space you have shrunk the space the seat capacity has reduced so the few ones that you have are going to be very very expensive they are very very expensive and i don't think uh, uh, uh average nigerians really want to fly now so it has effect even on the revenue that comes to the country through airport taxes through other navigational charges you find out that uh, yes we have this policy in place it's good on one hand but on the other hand uh it's like we are sh really shooting ourselves in the leg so we need to see that and see how we um, resolve these problems um, I was going to ask you about the effect on uh, flight uh, costs, uh, the tickets, uh, but you've answered that question already. So I'll just go ahead and ask, um, can you share any insight to how these owners of international flights, especially the national carriers like Rwanda Air, Lufthansa, uh, taking this ban, could it affect our diplomatic relationship with them? Yes, it will affect diplomatic relation, but not a, a, a starting degree. I think they are in talks. From what the minister said yesterday, he said the airlines came to him, they had discussions with him. Because if you also look at it, we have nothing to lose apart from the fact that we're going to lose revenue, we're going to lose navigational charges. If you look at our airlines, our airlines can't compete at all with even the list of the European carriers. They have some of the best product. They have some of the best network in the world. Which airlines do we have? We have practically nothing. We are even not having 3% of the uh, international airline market. Uh, this market is dominated by foreign airlines. Uh, so it's also going to have a big pinch of them. Nigerian routes, have, uh, Nigerian route is very, very lucrative. It's about the most lucrative routes in the world because of the high yield. You can imagine uh, the same fare, the same equidistance from uh, Accra to um, London could cost about 10 Naira, but when it comes to Nigeria, it's about 50 Naira. So the airlines are ready to come to Nigeria because of the high yield. Once you have your business class um, filled up, so you can even go empty and you are broken even. So because Nigerians love to travel in class, Nigerians love to exhibit well, to show that they have arrived, they go for business classes, they go for first classes. Then you begin to wonder, uh, the airlines actually feel it because these are revenue that they are losing. And that is why I think they have engaged the Ministry of Aviation, the minister and the federal government to look at ways they can quickly resolve this. So government has taken a very, very good step by showing that you can't take Nigerians for granted Yes, we are feeling it. They are also feeling it. And that is why they have come together to say, okay, let us sit down and see how we can resolve it. Do, you see, do you see a resolution anytime that. soon? Do you see maybe the federal government um, um, taking back this the ban in maybe in the next fortnight or less? I, I wouldn't know what the government is thinking right away. And I wouldn't know the level of discussion that have gone on between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Aviation, and this other country. But the way it looks, they are all feeling it. So, so I believe that they will come to a roundtable with a way to resolve in this matter because uh, we are losing on both from Nigeria. Nigeria is losing, and these other countries are, are also losing. And they also need Nigerian market to stabilize uh, one of the, uh, one of the markets, one of the lucrative markets in the world is like I said, is the Nigerian market. So they also need it in this period of coronavirus that. Airlines are losing a lot of money, so they need all this um, inflow to sustain their businesses. So I don't think that um, it will take long before we see, um, you know, concession on both sides on how to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. I want to say thank you very much, Mr. Shadari, for joining us on the news. Thank you so much for having me. And do take care.